Now, it's getting to that time of year where a few of my friends are thinking of going to the island to fish uh, for the mayfly. And one of the top flies to, to basically have in your box is the uh, French partridge. This is a, just an olive French partridge pattern. You can have it light, dark, or very natural. But it's, it's this basically French partridge with a, in this case with a raffia body. It's a olive, a light olive body hackle. Always with the tail fibres of the pheasant tail. And then with the French partridge hackle in front. Now, it's a basic simple fly to tie. The red colour could be, again, you could change the colour. Uh, I'm just using a, an olive uni thread, an 8 hook. This is a size 10, it's a competition heavyweight from Full and Mill. I'm just going to wax my thread first before I start. Now, we basically start at the eye, and need a good layer of thread onto the shank. Just quickly run it down. And remove the waste piece. Tail fibres, I would say 99% of the, the mayflies, uh, parts like the wet flies especially, will have this is the cock pheasant tail fibres for the tail. Now, how many you put on is up to yourself, really. I would say between 4 and 5 on a wet fly. Uh, just bring them 90 degrees from the stem and tail them off. It's always good to have an extra one just in case. It falls off, compensate for catching two or three more fish. Length of the tail, you're looking twice the shank length, round about that, tied in the top. A couple of turns to hold, trim that the length of the body, which is there. You've got to give yourself a couple of millimetres to tie in the, the hackles. The rib of the fly, I'm just using a, in this case, a small gold wire. So I'm going to catch this in, that's on, on my side, sorry, and then I'm going to Tidy up, take the thread up. Now the way back down we tie in some raffia. Now this is the raffia here I'm going to be using. This is a light yellow, uh, white, I've tied a few in white, I've just done half a dozen or so. White's a good colour, yellow's good. Uh, there's, there's a few colours that could be darker than this, it's quite light. Now when you take a length off, open it out, what I like to do then is just basically tear it, you know, you can use your scissors, just tear it all the way down. Makes for great bodies and any, and you can tie nymphs with this. You can do a lot of things with, with raffia. And then, it's important that you, you moisten it, just run it through your mouth or moisten your fingers. And then we can tie this on the way down. The body is really good. It's strong once it's not so a strong material to actually wind with, but just got to be careful. But once it's on the, the fly, it's fine. So we can get a nice body on it, just build it up, get a nice tapered body using the material. To your happy, just come across your thread, tie it down. Now, I, I like the thread to show through a wee bit, so that's why I'm using all of. Uh, once it's wet as well, you'll see it. And it's still dry and it gets slightly darker, but it's once it's wet, you'll see the colour. Now, for the body, I'm just using a, a light olive. This is a cock hackle. So, first thing I'm going to do is remove the fluff at the bottom. You can use saddles, you can use whatever you have. I've got saddles there I like to use as well. If I just caught that in there, if we cut away the stem so it fits fine. Make sure it's secure, and so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use my hackle pliers. Normally I wind by hand because it's a long enough hackle, so... I like to do a turn or two at the top first. And then round about... Oops, it's not down my fingers. That's why I like to use my fingers, because I'm more control sometimes. There we are. And then work your way down. There's three turns, come into the fourth turn come round with my wire, then we basically catch this in the way back up. Just rub the body of the fly, get to the top, just draw any fibres going forward, bring the wire in front, and bring your thread up. Put that 90 degree bend into the wire. Make sure it's secure. Bending that, the wire into 90 degrees will lock in these turns nice and tight. So then we bend and break away the wire. 
Wax your thread again, come back up, trim away the waist, or you can break it off, but I'll just trim away. Be quite look and see how it's sitting. That's fine. Got a French partridge, there's a dyed olive as well, just a nice olive. Or a light olive would be perfect. So remove the fluff, tie this in by the tip. So just pull out the fibre so you can reveal the tip of the feather. Just going to trim it, leave about a mill and a bit, just so that I can tie this in again. Make sure your thread's waxed so you've got the grip there. Now the front of the feather is facing myself. It's so when I'm winding the hackle, the natural fibre will be lying or laying towards the back, like a wet fly. Use my hackle pliers again so you can see what I'm doing. So what we do then is we fold the fibres and then we do one turn in front of the other work our way towards the eye Just take your time when you're doing this get the fibres to sit where you want Length is again, it's up to yourself I've a few of these guys that, that like fishing these flies uh, they like a long fibre the mayfly is really big so come across my thread, make sure it's secure. Just got one of these fibres here. Now the, th the stem of this feather is thin enough that I can actually fold it back. Sometimes or not, so you decide yourself when you're tying the fly. That folding it back like that makes it really, it's really strong. Trim that away. Oops. Go into a quick finish. Choosing the whip finish to form a nice head. There we are. And there we go. That's an olive French partridge. Bring the fibres round. It'll open out once you start to fish the fly. There we are. Now all we have to do to finish off the fly is just to drop varnish onto the head. Just rotate my vice here so I can Spread the varnish. Try not to touch the feathers or the fibres. As you see, these fibres, you see, they're sticking together a wee bit. But once you start to fish the fly, these will open out. French patches is used a lot in mayflies uh, in Ireland. There we are. So you can see exactly what it looks like like the tail here so you can open out the fibres. As I say, these will open out as well once you start to fix the fly. We'll show it off in its best though. So you can see it. So there, that's your French Partridge Mayfly. Your olive version. So I hope you enjoyed that.